Welcome back, everybody. We are picking up our conversations with great people at No Studios. I'm your host, Beth Ridley, and I am excited to now talk to Aria Pedraza. Hello. Aria, thank you for being here. Thank you so much it's for having me. It's gorgeous outside, isn't it? Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah. All right, so Aria, I'm really excited to talk to you because you have taken the journey from um, being employed to now being self-employed and starting your own business. Yeah. And that's something that I'm doing myself now, and I'm riddled with fear and anxiety and doubt, and so I can't wait to learn from you. Yeah. Someone who took the leap, and you're like, you know, embracing it. Yeah. So before we get to your business, mm -hmm. tell us first, what are you passionate about? Because that's really the core, the essence of the business that you've started. Absolutely. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all of those feelings are really exciting things to feel and totally part of business ownership that I feel like I've embraced coming up on um, just under a year now. Okay. Tomorrow right. marks 11 months. So to answer your question, I'm passionate about people. I'm an esthetician and I connect and serve with people every day. So that passion of fully engaging with and being present with the people that I serve is fundamental and paramount to uh, my business and continuing that line of service in the treatment room. And can I say you do it so well? Because how we met, I was a customer <laughs> of yours when I was doing yes, my lashes. Yes. And I would always enjoy our conversations until I, of course, fell asleep. <laughs> But what's interesting is you knew me <laughs> sort of going through the journey of then deciding to leave my corporate job yeah. to, and you were going through yeah. your own journey too. So it's yeah. amazing how now we find ourselves here talking about our <laughs> <laughs> cheers. <laughs> the synchronicities are never lost on it me. It's really, really cool. funny. Yeah. So I know that you are really passionate about people and about. Um, really supporting and helping people feel their best. So that became the crux of Metalash. Correct. So tell us a little bit about Metalash. Yeah, so Metalash is kind of like my brainchild. I feel like this past year I've, I've incorporated members of my community, you know, in terms of my friends who are artists and do great photography or video editing. Um, Metalash is a reflection of the people that I serve. I have the opportunity con to connect with fantastic women such as yourself who just blow me away with their experiences and their backgrounds and the conversations that are opened up during our services. Like, I think as a cosmetologist, you're going there with people, right? Like everyone says, oh, like, you know, we hear all about the things that you don't tell anyone else. But when you're in a treatment room with someone and you're in this really intimate, quiet, spa-like setting, yeah. but you're still engaged with someone, some really meaningful connections that happen and transpire. So for me, it was important that I created a conversation and a platform for those conversations and those women to be, you know, at the forefront. I love it. And I, you know, I, I don't really, I, I think you're on to something and you're sort of taking um, being an esthetician to the next level because I think you have people in sort of a vulnerable place and it seems yeah. like you hold that in high regard and yeah. a lot of respect and you're sort of building off from there. Yeah. Yeah. In some really creative ways. So kudos to you. Thank you. Super impressive. Thanks. Now, the other thing when I was going through your bio here that I said, ooh, I need to talk to you about that. Yeah was just your whole process of going from your day job to now being self-employed and starting your own business. Sure. And you had said that um, clearly it's a transition, it's a process, it's a journey. Right. And you said that you recognize that we're always shedding existing parts of ourselves. Yeah. Change is about becoming more of who we are, which I think is such an interesting twist. You might think, hey, change is becoming someone else. Right. You're saying it's becoming more of who we are. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I feel like by nature I'm very introspective and I'm always kind of peeling back the layers and, and getting back to you know, what makes me me and, and really finding my joy. And when I peel back those layers, you know, caring for and nurturing myself first and then others is at the bottom line. Like when nothing else is there, it's all about that. So in high school, I went through the Certified Nurses Assistant Program mm. where I gained my certification to work in um, like nursing home settings. So from there, I, 
I feel like Metal Ash now really parallels that experience, right? Like that kind of certification that allows you to connect with people in a different way or a different population. Um, thereon, I worked at a day program for disabled adults while going to school for aesthetics, and there was just so many parallels yeah. between that. So when starting my business, I just knew that that had to be central to whatever project or endeavor I was going yeah. to like face. Yeah, fascinating. And I can see where you take the, the core thing that you're passionate about and you keep coming back to it and then building upon your business from there. Yeah. I actually think that that's been a theme with a lot of the interviews is that um, success and fulfillment really comes from remembering what's important to you, remembering what brings you joy. Yeah. I think sometimes we go through life and maybe we lose that either because uh, external society has certain expectations of us mm -hmm. um, or we feel like maybe it's just not possible to go back to what we're really passionate about and what brings us joy but it seems like at least for you it's really core that it's always a piece of what you do and that you know that about yourself and you can build upon from there yeah mm -hmm. absolutely I'm so happy that that's recognized and that you see that oh no that comes across <laughs> in spades that's um, great. So, okay, so you're still very new in your entrepreneurial journey, but it yeah. seems like you're in a really good headspace. You've got uh, clearness, clearness, clarity? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Around uh, what your values are and a positive mental mindset. Yeah. So what advice would you give for anyone who is starting out as an entrepreneur? What advice would you give to me? <laughs> Beth, I think you have all the advice through me. I, I could stand to pick your brain for hours. Um, yeah, that's But I'm the one asking question. the questions here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have you come on my <laughs> podcast next. Yes. Um, that's a great question. I think that in the past three months, as I come up on a year, I'm thinking about what that means to me. Like, what what is success? And I think success is continuing to be curious and ask the right questions. Um, knowing, you know, what your why is, for sure, you've mm -hmm. got to have, like, an intrinsic, you know, motivator that's not attached to money. I think when you get wrapped up in that and that's your motive, then you'll kind of bend and flex for anything. Yeah. And there's something to be said about being, you know, flexible and adapting to different philosophies or mindsets or strategies in business ownerships, right? Yeah. If you're like learning how to do bookkeeping, you maybe need to organize your Excel sheet in a different way to yeah. like, you know, make sense to you. But when it comes down to it, you've got to have a really deep and compelling why. And that why will drive your curiosity to open up conversations that lead you to the next and, and help people, you know, understand where you're coming from yeah. so that you can be more clear in what your pursuits are. Yeah. And then finding great mentors. Like I've met so many awesome women again um, who have just really, you know, inspired me, give me pep talks, mm. kind of have the blueprint, or are there to just be like, yeah, you know, maybe you should just go home and go to sleep and then we can try again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like go, go take a bath and light some incense and I love it. we'll come back to it tomorrow. I, I like that as a strategy, go take a nap. <laughs> um, okay, so I think what I heard from you is be clear on your own values, yeah. your own measure of success and your why. Yeah. And while you want to be flexible from like a strategy and a business sense, you right. really don't want to sell out what your true values and what your why is. Totally. Mm -hmm. I also heard you say you want to ask a lot of questions, be curious, be open. Yeah. Be open to learning from others. Right. And um, I'm going to read this quote again because I just absolutely love it. <laughs> Change is about becoming more of who we are. Yeah, that's powerful. I think that's the theme with you. Flexibility, be adaptable, but stay with your core and yeah. let that really be what you're building from. Right. Yeah, perfect. I'm so excited to see where Metal Ash goes and what becomes. You're so creative and um, you just have like a good spirit about you. Thank you. Which Beth. is really cool. Um, so what do you get out of being a member here at No Studios? Oh my gosh. I mean, I love collaboration. 
that's another thing that I'm super enjoying with Metal Lash, bringing other people in and, and having them as a part of the conversation and not Metal Lash being my voice. And I think, I know actually that that is, that that's so present in this space. And mm -hmm. every time that I'm here, I just, it's like, oh yeah, totally. Like, you know, let's do this or let's do that. Or, you know, there was a great event here the other night, um, you know, and there was like three conversations that led to an email stream of, you know, different projects that I'm gonna be a part of or I'm gonna bring someone else in. So it's cool. like, it's just like a, a microcosm of like the coolest, most energized people in our city. Yeah. In a, in, a, in a beautiful space, like artists finally get something nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this is great. Well, artists make it nice, right? <laughs> yes, I mean, yes. these would be brick walls, but I mean, look <laughs> around, and this is, you know, made beautiful by, yeah. by the artists that are contributing their art here. So, for which is, by the way, all by for sale. Artists. Yeah, let's, oh. just, let's, let's just all say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I think it's for sale on the website, too. So. <laughs> Awesome. Yes, hey, I'm doing a good job. All right, <laughs> um, says my sister. Um, okay, so speaking of which, so beautiful space. We've got beautiful people here. Everybody who's here, make some noise. All right, we have just a few more interviews lined up. I'm particularly excited about the next one. I'm, I'm a little biased. These have been amazing discussions. Yeah. Aria, you have been awesome. Thank but you. But I'm sorry, the next guest is going to be better. <laughs> he's a lot cuter than I am. He's a lot cuter, <laughs> and he's related to me. Um, but Aria, thank you. Thanks, I'm so Beth. glad that we got to reconnect, and I, that's another great thing about No Studios is that, you know, the collaboration opportunities, the space to meet people in yeah. unexpected ways and it could lead to like really exciting unexpected things. Yeah. So I'm excited to see where you go next. Thank you. Yeah, this thank you for so being great. a guest. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Thanks. Thank All right everybody, you. stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>